Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. On today's vlog, we are going to talk about MacBook Pro. So I just got my MacBook Pro with the M1 chip and on this video, I'm going to show you guys my unboxing and I'm gonna show you how I set up the step-by-step -step my new MacBook Pro. I've been a Mac user for 7 years and sobrang sulit siya guys. Very durable, very efficient and lastly, reliable. But before we proceed to my video, please watch my intro for 2021. Let's unbox my Mac and I'll show you how to set it up. So first things first, we will do the unboxing. We'll take out the MacBook Pro from its package. I've been using Macs for about 7 years and today I just got the new 2020 MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. I know this video is a year late already. This video is for those people who just got their new MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. Now the first thing you want to do is just want to take everything out of the box and just make sure it's all there. And let's see what's inside. Now the first thing that we are going to do with the Mac is obviously take it out of the protective cover. So obviously you have the MacBook Pro. You also have a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. You also have the USB-C 61 watts power adapter. This is how you can actually charge the Mac. And here as you can see, you'll get a little instruction manual with some stickers and stuff inside. And the next thing that we're gonna do is just open up the lid of the Mac and as soon as you do lift up the screen it's going to turn on and you'll see the Apple logo you'll see it does have a protective cover on this video I'm going to show you how to set it up and also show you how to get started with the Mac and Mac OS and what we'll do now is we'll switch views so you can actually see what I'm doing on the screen so on your screens, obviously select whatever language you want to use and then and then again select your country. So I'm in the Philippines, so I'll select that and I'll hit continue. Now if you want to enable any kind of accessibility features, you can do that here too. So for example, if you have issues with your vision or your motor function or your hearing, you can come in here and set up features that will make the map easier for you to use but I don't need this I'm going to click not now and you can actually come back and change this later on in the settings so it's not a big deal now Wi-Fi network obviously select a network and connect to it enter the password for that network as well if you're struggling to find the password Generally, it's actually on the back of the router you're using or it will be written somewhere from the router, especially if you got it from your internet provider. Now, this is just a quick disclaimer telling you what this particular icon means. It's essentially the data and privacy icon and it only appears when an Apple feature asks to use your personal information. Now, if you guys didn't already know Apple, it's actually pretty good with privacy. So it's actually going to give you quite a few options and control over what you do and what you don't want to share. So we'll just click continue. Now, migration assistant is a really cool feature. It lets you, as the name suggests, migrate information from another computer. Now I'm setting this up as a brand new Mac. I'm not putting anything on it at the moment, so I'm actually going to come down here and I'm going to select not now. Now, Apple ID. If you don't already have one, 
it's pretty much an essential thing if you're going to use this Mac because this is how you're going to be able to log in to the App Store, download updates, and also have some more control over your Mac such as turning on a feature called Find My Mac which is helpful if your Mac is lost or stolen. So in my case, since I'm, I'm setting it up as a new Mac, let's create an Apple ID. Just provide the information below. And this is just some terms and conditions. So if you want to read that, you can. Or I don't think anyone ever does. So I'm just going to hit agree and hit agree again. So on this next screen is where you're actually going to set username and a password for your particular user account. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Full name doesn't have to be your full name. So I'm just going to put Gideon Estella for that. So I'll change the profile picture later on. And password. I'm just going to enter in a password that I want to use. I'll put it in a second time. And this can be anything. It doesn't have to uppercase or lowercase. It can literally just be four zeros or A, B, C, D. It doesn't really matter. Obviously, do make it secure. And this is just the express setup option. So essentially, all this means is just going to give you the default options. And you don't have to go through the menu selecting stuff. So, so we can do is I recommend clicking continue. Analytics, if you want to share analytics with Apple to help Apple itself and the app developers improve their products and services. Screen time is a really cool feature like it says here. It's just going to give you some idea of how much time you spend on the Mac each day and each week. Now you're probably all familiar with Siri by now and I'm actually going to enable this because I do use Siri from time to time. So I'm going to click continue. And I'm actually going to set up this now, which does require saying a few sentences. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? Now this gives you the option to improve Siri and dictation by essentially sending your audio to Apple. Now for the Touch ID, this is where you're actually going to be able to hold your finger on the little Touch ID slash power button and set up your fingerprint. So you can choose to set up this later or we can choose to set it up now, which I recommend because it's a very very cool feature. So let's continue and what we're going to do is we're just going to place whatever thing we want to use with the Mac on the power button several times. I mean, I lift it up and down. And as you can see there, it's in printing a fingerprint. And now we're going to do the edges of the finger. So just kind of rolling it around through the tip to the base of the finger. And you can see now that the touch ID is ready. And this is going to allow you to choose your look as you can choose light mode, dark mode, or auto which is essentially going to change it depending on the time of the day. So it allows you Mac screen to automatically adapt to the lighting conditions around you. And we can see here, if we actually click on this, you can see the difference between true tones display a little bit. And as you can see now, the Mac is fully set up and we are ready to go. That's all for today guys. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you like the video natin for today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to get updated for my new videos. So, I'll see you guys again on my next vlog.